uh, humanity purified, stripped of uh, stripped of its weaknesses and built for purpose. My particular purpose is, is war. Yes. Um, I imagine then that me and us looking at the other followers, that's, I mean, we would also be able to become more pure and better serve our duties. Yes, you would. Uh, your sir, your uh, well, he uh, am I just talking to Antalis or is there a group of people here? I mean, it depends if you want to talk with him privately. Okay, well, if there's if if I have he has I and he have no problem doing this as you know a a group you know proselyt proselytization. Uh, Whatever so works just, for you. I just need I just well you said that there were multiple pe people. If there are multiple PvP people, he'll address all of them. Uh, your ability to perform your uh, station, I your uh, st station, <laughs> is severely lim lim limited uh, by your flesh. To be human is not to is not to be uh, fleshy. He'll spit out the, the word. Um, to be human is to serve uh, the emperor, to serve the Omnissiah. My uh, augmentations allow me to serve better. Your augmentations would allow you to serve better. They not uh, fervently. He'll ra he'll rattle he'll rattle things off. He'll point to. Antalius and say that a uh, what's it called a uh, an uh, an induction port or an MIU uh, would allow him to uh, more quickly uh, convey orders across a uh, uh, his his vox instead of having to you know use his tongue uh, he could uh, shut up Xavier instead of having, <laughs> having to use his tongue to, to convey information he could use his infinitely faster um, hu human mind. Uh, if there or if there's a, I don't know, a, a me if there's a, uh, a guardsman in there, he'll mention that uh, having to use human hands or just hands in general is uh, inferior to using uh, uh, mechanical ones or uh, um, um, implanted weapons, and he'll uh, uh, his uh, implant his uh, implanted uh, we uh, weapons will uh, pop out. Spe uh, his specifically his uh, hell gun, his uh, melt a pistol, and his uh, what's it called plasma pistol. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think uh, probably later they would ask, like they would wonder, like they're calling the like. Yes, we like. We would like to serve better the uh, emperor and the messiah, and they would start wondering like how they, like what is the proper procedure of like inducing them into adeptus mechanicus? Can you do it, or do you need uh, what they will need to do to become proper members of mechanicus to gain these arguments? Out of character, they have to be indoctrinated. They have to have a level of indoctrination. <laughs> uh, we're talking like a, at least a year of uh, uh, well being cons con consist consistently. Uh, you will have a year. Yeah, I know. Uh, oh, sh shut up, Xavier. That's funny, but shut up. Um, <laughs> uh, at, at, at least a year of going to what passes for the Mechanicus as church. Um, and after that, someone, presum presumably me, would uh, sign them over and say, okay, yeah, they can join. Yep. They will be very fine with that. And I, I remember that... Uh, and I remember that... Uh, 
I'm tired, sorry, you asked, like, uh, when you were discussing one of the presentations that if you would be willing to kind of, like, air quotes, sponsor him. Mm-hmm. So yeah, and he, he said he would. He, 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 he doesn't that. bring that uh, topic. Um, At the last topic. mission, he was... Uh, What's-his-name lost his weapons, I think. He uh, lost all of his gear uh, going through one of uh, my ex Oh, right. He got he, the... What's-his-name left him with... I forget what exactly he, he, left, he left him with, but he left him with some kind of a weapon. Yeah, he yeah he got hit by that uh, peril of the worm that just destroyed yeah. all of his equipment. So yeah, he's already said that he's willing to sponsor. Him. Yeah, so I'm yeah, not the, not doing safe of... not doing scene from that, but you can safely imagine yeah. that Tyus personally like was uh, prostrating himself before you that mm-hmm. uh, something about shame and being sorry and whatnot. Uh-huh. It's fine, like, but yeah. For the sake of what's it called, we can just say that that that, that was a you know yep. I church was in secession mm-hmm. for what I just said. I just tried to figure out stuff for Simon because it's somehow fine. somehow every time I get this one character, I have trouble nailing down what he will do so- social wise. It was Cadus in the first batch of characters, and now it's Simon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was so. Maybe not pissing me off, but that was like a running gag. <laughs> okay. Is uh, John back? I don't think so. He hasn't responded, but he might be. Johnny ah. Gear. If I ever play a tech priest, that's going to be like the only line I say. <laughs> I mean, as, as, as a DM, I would get maybe not pissed, but I will be like, <sighs> how the f- you know I don't have, I, I won't have any ideas. I mean how do you socialize? Never mind. I would be like, fuck this shit, I'm out. But mm-hmm. yeah, uh, well hopefully John doesn't feel sick again. As a character. Yeah, she had her stuff. It was obvious she was meant to be like this. Uh, I'm a tough woman that ain't need no man. <laughs> Anyways, so I guess when. What the fuck? Uh, I guess when John returns, we might do scene for him. But then, as I run out of the ideas for now. Let's uh, deal. Wait. Wait, just give me a moment. Give me a moment. I need to just double make sure that there is absolutely nothing else before we do the. Oh, and you said that I could get. Spending. For that weapon. The Dark Elder weapon? Yeah, because, you know, no. such a long time skip, you would probably be able to find it sooner or later. I mean, also, as you know, like, the. Xeno Shock is my speciality, so yeah, Xeno Arcanist and Xeno Specialist, so mm-hmm. also Heterial Exis on top of that, so it's kind of, eh, oops, <laughs> I kind of know people. Speaking of things to get, uh, while we're waiting on Johnny Boy, I think I'm Oh, do I want a Heat Lance or do I want a Blaster? What's That's a Heat Lance punch. again? Oh, the Heat Lance is the, oh yeah, the Elder Melta, yeah. And then My blasters. Just go for an internet. I also like the idea of a dark lens, but I don't really see the point. Uh, oh, Get the actually, ether yeah. lens. It'll be hilarious. I think I, I might no. have two or three general questions for I you. am so fucked if anybody sees me. <laughs> oh, big time. <laughs> uh, sorry, with what? Eldar Tech. Uh, I mean, oh, you are already using are fucking Elder. shuriken pistols. That's true. I mean... Then you guys speak. I mean... Yeah, but I was making sure... These were situations where everybody was sure to die. So, no witnesses. No problem. Mm. It reminds me... No uh, one can see if there's no one left to see. Ma- it's exactly. it's exalted style. <laughs> Malfeon's stealth charms kill everyone. <laughs> 
Oh, Stinger Pistols are just so mean. I love you, Stinger Pistols. I'm not gonna even no, ask. Yeah. I'm gonna find it later. What does it do specifically? The Stinger Pistol? Oh, the Dark Earth thing that you're getting. Oh, um, I, well, I haven't quite decided yet. Um, I am getting a Stinger Pistol and mm. probably just something that can hold up to, like, I can actually hurt people. So yeah, it is safe to say that you would probably want some, at least one weapon or something that either ignore, ignore toughness or just deals the much. There's not much that ignores toughness. Or or just this, it has enough damage dice and bonus that it can mm. punch through unnatural toughness. John's back, by the way. Okay. So I'm gonna... Which probably means I should get a blaster. So I'm gonna jump back to... Uh... I mean, actually, pro tip, I mean, assuming I'm not gonna start throwing enemies that are immune to psychic powers with the bullshit that I will find, uh, <laughs> then uh, the lowering toughness combo was actually good. Uh, so, yeah. Anyways, uh, John wanted to do some general social stuff for you. So first, a general question. How make reacts when, like, you know, over the course of mo weeks and months that you are with this cadre, as you are working in this subsector, uh, how he usually reacts when, especially Solon, but sometimes Solon with Ignacia, uh, try to get him to socialize more? Like, hey, we are playing, you know, some poker. Wanna join? Or, hey, we have some, we have R and R. Wanna drink with us? How often is this? So over the course of say two months, how often would this be? I, I mean. Need to roll something for it doesn't really matter, just like give me the number of how many From times time roughly. to time, because obviously they have stuff to do so they don't party every day. <laughs> of, oh, naturally, so maybe like six I'm times over the course of two months? Probably close to, closer to ten. Okay, uh, incoming spam, sorry. I'm doing willpower tests, see how often he goes. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> hey, don't be a spoil sport. Get going. Oh, that time. Okay, I'm, I will give a negative 10. They have been persistent. So that's on the fifth time he attends, and then I'll do five more. <laughs> he goes every like five times. <laughs> oh, another time. Uh oh. Shoemake was bored that night. He said, shit, I'm going to go get shit canned right now. Oh no. Hey John. You know what you should oh, do? Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Okay, that's enough. Super. He's super not gonna go. <laughs> you feel Hikimori? He just doesn't, like, respond or anything. Now, in, in fairness, like, uh, that's how many times is that? One, three. two, three, yeah. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. out of ten, you go like three times. <laughs> and <laughs> it's towards, I mean, it doesn't happen in that order. I'm going to say, like, towards the end of the second month, he starts being a little bit uh, not open, open more to it. Yeah, I guess more open to the idea of doing or attending and must does so. Okay. Uh, so... The, I'm gonna say, like, the 5.2 crit was, like, the first time he's like, nope, mm. slams door. Yeah, it make, make, makes sense. But, yeah, especially Solon wasn't easily dissuaded for some reason. You kind of realize that as you went a few times, you realize the dynamic of the command squad. Like, Kenneth usually is not... I mean, not usually... I mean, he sometimes also doesn't attend because, as a commander, he has more stuff to do, so he doesn't get uh, quite as much free time as they do. Uh, or he, like, he's working overtime. Solon is the... I want... 
He's not a fucking hippie, but he's uh, like this snarky, almost happy go lucky. Fuck, no happy go lucky, but kinda positive, kinda crazy, but not insane, psyker. Antalius is playing, you know, as a mechanicus guy, he's playing this straight, sane man uh, that deals with everything logically. Ignatia is, you know, the chick, the heart of the group, uh, general healer that tries to be compassionate and whatnot. Uh, Kandor is apparently uh, slowly uh, getting the pyromaniac mania. <laughs> Maybe not mania, but he's get he's he's going into a way of like unholy union of pyro and demopan from team fortress 2 <laughs> but he likes uh, fire and big ex big explosions and ex yeah exalta was not let let's just say when Meg was going to those uh, meetings exalta wasn't there <laughs> oh one thing Mayak would give uh, Solon some really good advice. Cool guys never look at explosions. <laughs> I mean, that, that advice you would want to give to uh, Cantor, Neil. He's the, oh, I, he's I, the pyromaniac. No. I, oh, I thought he was Solon, the pyroman. Oh, yeah, sure, Cantor, whichever. I mean, Solon is like, huh, you know, actually, I have this one power that, like, eh, pyromancy that. I didn't train too much because the bastard decided to, I mean, leave or die on me or whatever. I mean, he wasn't that good of a teacher. <laughs> this is like probably one of the like one of the days and meetings when he's like slowly getting drunk. And he's Shots fired. Shade. <laughs> Oh, shit, so I'm saying, you know, I'm saying that, that, you know, what happens if my powers, you know, go out of control? Or like, if I'm not prepared and like, kill yourself? Like, shit, man, I'm... what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. And like, I don't know how Meg feels about it, I can ask... Uh, ask him the specific, but in general, he feels uh, kinda welcomed in this uh, group. And primarily, it's, you know, members of the command squad, mostly Solon, uh, sometimes Antalius, Ignatia, Cantor, and from time to time, like, switching group of few mooks from the rest of the platoon. But the trusted nice. guys. So how do, how does it feel in general when he's attending those meetings? Hmm. Do you feel like you are Plus here because time? because you wanted someone to stop pestering you or hmm, something else? I would say at first he probably feels that way, yes. But uh, I guess slowly starting to warm up to the idea of socializing. The first, well, I mean, I'd said three times, but I guess it's a little bit more than that as time goes on. Um, definitely becomes more social rather than being the person that just sits there and uh, doesn't talk that often. Chip starts chipping in a little bit more to the random conversations, etc. Okay. So I actually have an idea for a scene. This is like one of the days after one of the meetings that involved uh, some alcohol, but nothing too, too hammered down. I mean, oh, that, uh, actually that's a good question. Like when Aaron does Mike tries to get drunk or he rather avoids getting hammered? Hmm, that's a good question. I don't think it's in his character to do so, but after, as, again, time progresses, I suppose he would uh, be inclined to maybe have a glass or two. By uh, no means intoxicated, or becoming 
by no means intoxicated. Um, so probably after some uh, one of those days, as you are returning to your quarters, as you are still so far away, uh, you hear a footstep behind you, and uh, Ignacia joins you, like in. Uh, of course. Okay, there we go. And... Uh, well... Let's say, yeah... Uh, hey. You disappeared rather abruptly. Um, I assume it's after a while, not just like... Yeah, I'm sure. Um, hmm. How would you with this? <sighs> the congregation was beginning to wind down. People returning to their rooms. I felt I must do the same. Though he scratches his chin a bit. Oh, no, he doesn't care. Nah, I. I hmm, no, he wouldn't care. Never mind. He just ends it with that. Okay. She actually checked us out. Well, I guess that's something. I must say, I uh, wasn't really believing that Saul will get through you, but I guess that's his talent. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of glad that he, he managed to get you out of your shell as you're wondering, as you're walking. You know, I was... Oh, no, wait. She, like, pauses for a moment, like, if you decide to answer or not, then she will continue. So for now, she like she's, like, pausing, but still walking, like, alongside you. He says something to the effect that Solon is a persistent bastard. No, he, he'd be honest, I think. There is no point in lying at first. I only did it to prevent him from annoying me further. Though... He uh, hums a little bit, thinking of how to word what he's going to say next. Hmm. Uh, begrudgingly, I must say, I am glad uh, that I... Adhered to his whim. Uh, yeah, adhered to his whims. Hmm. Yeah, so um, that's. I guess that's one of his. Uh, depends on the view of virtues on, or vices. And then she sighs. Hmm. Kind of. That's what you said. Is our company uh, such an unbearable? Do you? It's like spending uh, time with, you know, people that you fight with so much. Hmm. He doesn't, and that's me just contemplating how he's going to respond. Uh, uh. No. I must admit, it is quite pleasant. May I ask why you... What brought this on, Ignatia? <sighs> no, I, rem I remember them, our first meeting. No, it seemed like a... Oh, no, she wouldn't start like that. She... I mean, in such a group, it's good to forge bonds and uh, make sure that every man can count for his uh, brother and sister. You know, isolation and cutting yourself from fellow people is not healthy. He does not respond to that. Uh, 
and simply keep walking. Okay. Uh, no, sh shutting people off is really not a way to. Hmm. I don't know what happened to you, but we are not, and I am not here out to. In fact, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a platinum medic, so it's my not only job but also duty. And well, duty and uh, fate to help people, one or another. Well said, and I do trust that you will have my back on the field, much like the rest of your platoon. It is not a matter of trust, per se. It is just easier if I were to keep my distance, to some degree, of course. Though that is starting to become a little bit more difficult now. Easier... what? To stick... For whom? And how? I mean... That... I mean, death is an occurrence that we all have to meet, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't, you know, make, make friends. I was not talking about passing on into the embrace of the Emperor. I need to just roll a quick willpower. And please, what are you talking about? Help me understand. Perhaps another time. <laughs> Good night for now, Ignacia. You're just Rest such well. a red reticent motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I have something to talk to, to uh, you about. As you but are, I don't want to talk about it. As you are he doesn't <laughs> say that. He just said <laughs> no. As, as like you're like saying goodbye to her. Uh, she stops, uh, looks at you like fidgeting back, I guess, and then says loud enough to. <sighs> well, if needed, I can be as stubborn as Solon. Then, good night. Good night. <laughs> Ignatia X Mayak. He just continues on. You know it. Yeah. I'm annoyed. Let me just roll one small. That was seen for Meg, actually. <sighs> I really want to distract her. I'm giving myself negatives as well. It's just roll twenty knows. I fucking hate roll twenty at times. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if if you have logical reason for like maybe not joining this scene per se, but like continuing that threat or something, because somebody was mentioning that. You want something to do? Wasn't sure if you are if you were joking. Wait, what? Sorry. I mean, not to you, but uh, Jaw or Zygmunt. All right. Something, something. Uh, what was the question? I mean, didn't you mention that you <laughs> something Zygmunt wanted to say or do? I don't know. No. Maybe. I mean, the only thing left is to just r get my special. Maybe, weapon. maybe you were. Okay, even if I had other ideas, I think... Is that a boy trade thing? Right. Oh, you know what, fuck it, I'll, I'll bite. It has, I was just thinking... What? In retrospect, that, um... It, ha it wasn't just... Right off the bat, this has been... Building over time, so... I'll whisper something to you. You don't have to force yourself there, Johnny boy. No, I was just trying to think, I was just thinking. As in, what would he do after that length of time? Oh, it's cool. Yeah, and I did say he had changed somewhat. Oh, we've all changed. 
Hmm. Except me. I'm still the same as always. <sighs> I remembered about general question, but that's I mean, as John is writing, whispering for me, a general. Hmm, question maybe I want a towel weapon. To a party. Um, What's your question? Regarding reporting back to Lord Inquisitor Cadian.